Welcome to the Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. BP Rahul, Senior Medical Correspondent at Medical Dialogues, and today I will be discussing about a very interesting topic. Metformin, a commonly used anti-diabetic drug, is found to cause birth defect in boys. Male children of fathers who took metformin, an anti-diabetic drug, were found to have 3.4 times higher incidences of genital and urinary birth defects. A recent study has found the defects included issues like urethral problems and undescended testicles. However, a recent study shows the treatment of diabetes causes fertility issues rather than the diabetes itself. Researchers from the University of Southern Denmark and Stanford University studied data from nationwide national registries of births, patients and prescriptions to evaluate whether the risk for birth defects varied among offspring born to men treated with insulin, metformin or sulfonylureas prior to conception. Babies were considered exposed to a diabetic drug if their father filled at least one prescription during three months when the fertilizing sperm were developing. The researchers compared birth defects in the babies across the diabetes drug. Different times of taking the drugs related to the development of fertilizing sperm and with the unexposed siblings of the babies. Babies whose father took metformin had an increased risk for birth defects. There were too few babies whose father took sulfonylureas to determine risk for birth defects with any certainty. Taking metformin before and after sperm development did not increase the risk for birth defects. Unexposed siblings were also not at increased risk. According to the authors, the size of diabetes pandemic suggests that treatment of prospective fathers with diabetes, including pharmacological management and counseling on diet, physical exercise and weight loss, should be subject to further study. An editorial from German M. Buck Lewis, PhD, MS at George Mason University, emphasizes the importance of corroborating the findings given the prevalence of metformin use as the first line therapy for type 2 diabetes. The author also calls for guidance from clinicians to help couples planning pregnancy weigh the risks and benefits of paternal metformin use relative to other medications. These findings suggest that men with diabetes who are taking metformin should talk to their doctors about whether they should switch to another treatment when trying to conceive a child. However, because diabetes control also affects sperm quality, discontinuing metformin treatment could also affect birth outcomes. The findings are published in Annals of Internal Medicine. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.